Hello. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. All right, guys, let me explain. I'm currently in the Marriott Cairo. One of my viewers works here at the Marriott and he showed some of his colleagues in the marketing team here some of my videos and they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to come for dinner. And so I've come here for dinner and I'm gonna be staying the night tonight. If you follow my videos, you'll know that I'm well out of my league. Let me give you a little tour of my room here and then I'm gonna be taken for a tour around the palace. This is a palace apparently, so it's huge. I can't wait to explore and hear about the history and everything. It's from like the late 1800s, I think. If this is your first time watching my videos, don't think that I always stay in places like this because I can guarantee it's not the case. So, first things first. Mini fridge. <whistles> Coffee station. Bathroom. I just tried out that shower and it's so good when you're like budget traveling. Quite hard to come across a nice shower. That was so nice and welcoming. And then this is my best friend here. This big old huge king size bed with nice fresh white sheets. It's like heaven. They even got me a, a little kind of care package <laughs> with uh, lots of little bits and pieces in there. And then guys, are you ready for the best part of this room? Check it out. Not bad view, eh? I just want to point out that I'm not getting paid anything. They're just letting me hang out here for a day. I thought it'd be cool to share a different side of Egypt because the way I travel is like budget traveling, right? So why not show you a five-star palace? So we're gonna go down and go for a tour of this palace and we will check it out. If you're wondering what the clips were at the start of this video, that was me coming from Hurghada on the bus this morning. It was like a six and a half, seven hour bus journey. What a better way to end a seven hour bus journey than staying in a place like this. Let's go for the tour. First floor, going down. 18 hours, an epic palace tour, a five-star meal, four showers, an incredible night's sleep in an extremely comfortable bed, one gym session, and a huge delicious breakfast later. What's up Cairo? Good morning guys. So change of plans obviously. I went down last night and had the tour. After that had an incredible dinner at a five star restaurant downstairs which I'll show you soon. That was with the marketing team here. I do love the raw travel but sometimes when you get a break from that it's incredible. Anyway, I don't want to talk anymore. I want to show you guys this place because it really can speak for itself. So I'm going to show you a few clips of the place first. Then we're going to meet up with my friend Yasmin and she's going to show us a few of the more restricted areas. Some of the big grand rooms and original paintings from the 1800s. So without any further ado, here are some shots of this incredible place.
Alright guys, so as you can see this place is epic in the true sense of the word. This place has 1060 rooms, 16 restaurants, a nightclub, several bars and a whole heap of other things. Now I'm just outside in the, it's called the lagoon area I think. Because right now we're sitting on an island which is in between Giza and Cairo. This whole island used to be just for the palace but nowadays it has other developments and things on it. Around the palace which is behind this tree here, that was the only building here. And all around this whole area was just lagoons, beautiful gardens and nature. I'll get a more detailed description of the history soon when I meet up with my friend Yasmin. She'll give you more like the details because I don't want to you know get anything wrong but this is the main palace and then when Marriott took it over they built these two towers here one there and one on the other side my room is on the 19th floor which is pretty much the top looking over the Nile we're gonna meet up with Yasmin now and she's going to show us the more restricted areas of the hotel the grand function rooms I saw them last night they are absolutely stunning so let's go show you guys This is the main entrance of the hotel originally, of the palace. And the Nile used to be a lot higher back then, that was in 1869. And so they used to just pull up on boats here to enter the palace. And here we have the stairway behind me here. All the things that you're seeing here, they're all original. So the mirrors, the statues, the chandelier here. The chandelier weighs 500 kilograms, so half a ton. Obviously the lights are different. They used to have candles on them, but now they've got electronic lights. Obviously having candles nowadays is extremely high maintenance, but they used to have people, especially in this palace, just for changing the candles in this place. Now we've just come into what was the main dining room. Just the detail that you guys can see. And I think it's really cool how this is a hotel because this is the kind of thing I would imagine to just be a museum and to be like really restricted. But for this to be a hotel, it's pretty cool that you can use it. So just walking down this corridor here, guys, look at this. Something that's really noticeably cool is you've got this kind of combination of the Arab architecture with the European. This palace was originally built for the inauguration of the Suez Canal. That's the canal that connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea, which means that you can get ships through from India to Europe. A huge deal back in 1869. It was built mainly to host European guests. That's the whole reason why this uh, palace was built just for that occasion then it went through a whole history of being bought and sold and so on and so forth. These paintings here are not originals but the room that we were just in, that ballroom there, that had two original paintings in there. They're the only two original paintings that are still left. Apart from that many of the other things you'll see like the antiques are originals. Incredible you know that they're still clean and and working fine. The cool thing about this is it's really well maintained because it's closely monitored by the Egyptian Department of Antiques, I think. Watched over really carefully, which is cool to preserve something so prestige like this. Let's check out this corridor. This is the main ballroom here. It is huge. This place can hold up to about 500 people. So it's most commonly used for weddings and events like that. But this carpet is pretty insane as well. Okay guys, so this is what is the main entrance nowadays. The one I showed you before was the entrance back when the palace was first open. This is the entrance now, and uh, you can see it's very grand. Back on my epic balcony here. That about wraps up the tour of this palace. I've got lost so many times here, it's so big and it was kind of on purpose. I mean obviously I could ask someone who works here if I wanted to know some exact place but it's kind of cool to just get lost in this place because it's, it's huge, it's like Cairo, it's massive. 
Huge thank you to Marriott for having me. Not sponsored, but you know, they just let me hang out here for a, a night. For me, as a budget traveler, this is glorious. I've had so many showers, nice hot showers, epic huge bed. I feel like a new person, completely recharged. If you have a bit of a bigger budget, then I recommend coming to stay here. I'm gonna leave Marriott's information below. If you wanna check it out, their Instagram, whatever, link below. Thank you for watching, guys. In the next video, I'm gonna be talking about Egyptian food. Food. You know, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Yeah. We're gonna be going to a friend of mine, a local's house, and he's gonna cook me a full Egyptian lunch. Cannot wait for that. I will see you then. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening and good night.